I can't believe this right now. I can explain. So you mean to tell me you killed somebody? <sighs> you see, I was 15 at the time. It was my sophomore year. I came from a modest family. I wasn't rich like the popular girls, like Kirsten. I wanted what she had, but didn't get what I wanted. The I am going to be the best this year. Give me a break, Bernie. I am going to edit the yearbook and I'm going to be a cheerleader. And I'm going to be a babble link. Why do you want to be part of the loud crowd? Especially Kirsten Costas. I don't think you want to be a part of that. They're just a bunch of slugs. So you think I'm going to become a slug because you are going to see me in a cheerleading form? Thanks. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take it far. You will make the best of the bunch. I work at the attendant's office alongside with Kirsten and one day, one of Kirsten's friends offered me to be in the Babo links. I was happy. But in an order for me to be in there we had to put mayonnaise in our hair and egg on top. And we had to wear our mom's ugliest clothes. Today we'll be announcing our new cheerleaders before summer break. First we have Patrice Bretman. Haley Anderson. And last but not least, Kirsten Costas. I didn't make the cheer squad. I didn't get on into the yearbook staff. I was sad I always thought I was a loser. Until one day, I called Kirsten's mom and lied to about something. Hello? Hi Miss Costas, you may not know me but I'm with the Bobbies. Kirsten isn't home right now. Okay, that's it, alright, it's a surprise anyway, see we're having a surprise dinner for the new Bobbies, it's just like an end of the school year type of thing. How lovely, but what should you wear? Something nice, that's all. Alright. Great, it was really nice talking to you, Miss Costas. You too, bye bye. So I was supposed to, to babysit that night of what happened, but instead I went to pick her up. And she asked me, So who is gonna be at this party? The older crowd. Hold on, I need to do something real quick. What are you doing? Did your brain die or something? What does it look like I'm doing? Anyways, so tell me about this party. I actually wasn't invited, it was my friend Liz, she to me I can invite whoever I want. Then what was the sense of taking me to a party if there was no party first you lied to my mom and then you lied to me just tell the truth Bernadette there's no party. I just want to be you friend. Well I don't want to be friends with someone weird like you I'm out. Kirsten don't leave. I'm out. I would have driven you home. You were s***ing weird go away. So what's gonna happen if you catch them? Well we are going to place them on arrest them and go to trial and serve justice. Do what you have to do officer.
So I was thinking of all what happened. I think we should quit the Bobbo links for good. So all those in favor of disbanding the Bobbo links raise your hand. Wait a minute, this is all wrong. The Bobbies aren't just a sorority people think we are, but we are a family. If we break up, we just can't break up, that's all. I say we drop the idea and I want to congratulate Bernadette for secretary treasurer. All those in favor of keeping the Bobbo links together with Bernadette's treasurer raise your hand. Why am I here? Hi Nancy, you're here so we can ask you some questions. But I didn't do nothing wrong. How long did you know Kirsten Costas? We didn't like each other but I didn't kill her. Where were you that night when Kirsten was stabbed? I went to go see Ghostbusters. Really Nancy, where were you at? Okay fine, I'll tell you the truth. I was with my current boyfriend and we were just hanging out. I lied to my parents so they wouldn't know where I was going. Is it true that you wrote in your notebook I want to see your blood drip to Kristen? Yes, but I wanted to scare her off. Thank you, Nancy, for the truth. Enjoy your day. I finally had enough. I was so tired. I was hiding the truth for six months. So I wrote a letter to my mom. Dear mom and dad, I've been trying to tell you this, but I love you so much and it's so hard. I'm taking the easy way out. I just can't be near you. And you say this because I've already caused so much pain. The reason why it took so long on Fridays because the FBI man, Mr. Gil thinks I did it. And he is right. I can't bring her back, but I'm so sorry. I would kill myself, except maybe that would hurt you even more. I've been living with it for a while, but I can't ignore it. It's too much for me. And I hate myself for that. I've spoken to a priest but I still can take it. I don't know what to do I'm so ashamed and scared I love you. Bernadette You have been subjected to a scene of Phenermus Pathos. Hear the pathetic to blow of Bernadette surrounded by her family as she listened to her own damning words but what of the tears and grief of the Costas family tears they will shed and grief they will feel for the rest of their lives? And so I ask you, your honor, to consider the plight of the victim and not the victimizer and toward a verdict that suits the crime a verdict of murder in the first degree. <gasps> this whole case is circumstantial considering the evidence of present it here I must conclude that the persecution has failed to prove its contention of premeditation the evidence supports nothing more than a finding of murder in the second degree you must further observe we have a kind of phallus in wonderland situation here the juvenile code dictates a sentence of confinement to the age of 25 the degru her first or second is irrelevant and so I find myself wondering what we have accomplished here